So in this entry of the Ansible with PowerEdge series, we're going to show how to do firmware upgrade and downgrades uh, using two different methods. So the first one is simply to use the module that has been prepared for this called IDRAC firmware. And um, what we're doing is essentially to use this module to point the IDRAC to go and look at an NFS share. If you look at the NFS server, you can see here that we have two different firmwares in there for the BIOS. We're going to actually downgrade the firmware to start with to 2.3.10. So how do you actually create these catalog files and the firmware bundles? Well, you need something called the repository manager, which you can download from our web page. And I sped this up a little bit, but it's actually fairly easy to go and create a firmware bundle. You just select the type of machine that you want. You select then the OS. I always find for some reason that uh, Windows 64 bit works well. So I tend to use that regardless. In this case, we want BIOS firmware. So select BIOS. And if we do that now, we get the, the latest version of the BIOS for this type of server. And we can then go and export it. And whatever target folder we put it in, if we then put that later on on the NFS share, we can easily import the uh, firmware from there using Ansible. So we're running the export here now, and if we go and have a look at the folder, we can now see that we have a catalog file and also the firmware files in there. But this is... Um, for the latest version only. Let's say you want to downgrade the firmware, you want to use a custom version of the firmware. Um, so in this case we have an older one that we just downloaded from the web page. They're all available. So what we're doing is we go and import it to our repository. We point it to the download folder and we run the import. And the firmware package will be part of our repository and we can remove the newer version of the firmware that we don't want. And then we can export it once we're done with that. We just export it as usual. And we get the same type of catalog file, etc. that we can utilize with Ansible. So let's get back to our playbook. So in the playbook, we simply point it to the NFS share. On the NFS share, we have the catalog file that has been created using the repository manager, as we just saw. So if you now go and have a look at the IDRAC at the job queue, it will now have a repository update that is in the process of downloading. We can follow the upgrade process through here. We'll speed that up a bit, so we don't have to watch it the whole time. The playbook uh, finishes fairly quickly. It doesn't wait for the upgrade to be finished. And the server will reboot and run the upgrade. And once it's done, it will restart again. And we can see that it has uh, successfully completed in the background. So go and look at the dashboard, we can now see that the firmware version has been downgraded from 248 to is it 2310. Now let's do a second one. Let's use the SCP, the server configuration profile import uh, method instead. So as you import settings using SCP files, it's possible to also run a firmware upgrade as part of that. So we're going to create a uh, new playbook specifically for this new firmware that we have, uh, 248. And we upgrade instead of downgrade. And uh, we'll then change the SCP file that we're importing as well. So we'll go to the the NFS share or the NFS server to have a look at that folder as well. So in here we have the firmware upgrade SCP or XML file. As you can see, it pulls the firmware from a particular folder there. We're going to have a look at that in a moment. Let's just match the XML file name in the playbook. So as we go back to the NFS share, we can have a look now at the 
the folder, the firmware R640 BIOS. You can see in there we also have a catalog file as well as the firmware file. And that's all we need. You can of course have many many firmware files in there at the same time. In this case we're just doing the BIOS but you could upgrade all the firmware. Another cool thing is that you can actually put this in a big SAP file that has all the server settings, including the firmware upgrade. In that case you apply all the settings and you do the firmware upgrade and um, you do that in all, one, all in one go. So it can be very very efficient. So let's run the playbook and see if we can upgrade the BIOS using this method. Like before, we can monitor, monitor the job through the job queue. We can see we have a repo update scheduled. And we'll just speed up this process as well so we don't have to follow it the whole time. So as before, the BIOS is upgraded, server restarts and the job finishes. And the new version can be seen from the UI. That is all. Thank you so much.